What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and hey, we back with Boy What, but this time it's with another person named Jerix Johnson. Hopefully, I said the first name wrong. Stay. My bad. Hopefully, I got the first name right, and I apologize if I messed it up. But Jerick Jerix Johnson, boy what? Boy what? Damn, sometimes I feel like I'm illiterate. Battling my demons. Official league video. Now, I did see that it was posted on his channel at first, but you already know. Sometimes I like to see if I want to see it on Boy What's channel. I mean, hey, no hate towards, isn't? Cause let's be honest. If it's not, it, I always like it whenever, whenever there's a song out and such for my artist. Even though it's been, even though he's released multiple, me personally, I want to see when it's on their channel and such. Nine times out of ten, it may not be all the time when it happens, but hey, sometimes it's better to see it on their official channel because who knows maybe they might have a different verse or a remix on it or whatnot and different beats so who knows but either way you already know we rocking with boy what last time we heard him was freaking the neon tide hey all i can say is with the likes of glorb your boy sponge and boy what <laughs> they making spongebob our cartoon hero, our car, our cartoon childhood like show, be to me ten times more fire if it were like in either the rock, the rap, or hell even country vibe for that matter. But either way, we gonna check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. The rock vibe. song with him and Jono who else divide and fable them four together cuz god damn the way how he came in like hold on I gotta go back to that part the way how he can I be telling y'all when it I, I said it before in in my reaction with neon tide that there's many different ways other than just rap where you can hear some fire lyrics and passionate music and rock music trust me and especially as a person who watches a lot of WWE wrestle a lot of WWE and listens to like old songs from like WWE and such like old pay-per-view songs that WWE used to use trust me it it's hitting nostalgia for me, just the sound. <laughs> I'm battling my demons, burying them so deep in sunlight. Oh, trying to find some peace, <laughs> they were telling me in my life. I'm battling my demons tonight. I read James Johnson. Yeah. Boy, what? With a 
lighting. If you don't like this, something is wrong with you. Because it's basically like this. In the way how the in the realm of how music is today, let's be honest. Now, sorry y'all, I thought something was behind me or something dropped. But we good. But like I'm trying to say, in the realm of how music is today, now, rap, when it comes to hip hop, ain't nobody gonna like say hip hop is dead or something or anything like that, right? But what I am trying to say is that in the realm of how it is, nine times out of ten, everybody's sounding the same. Not in my nerd, not nerdcore. The nerdcore community, the nerdcore hip-hop community, they can stay over there because they got they... Trust me, as a person who is li literally my Spotify... For 2023, my Spotify wrap-up for 2023, I've been listening to most anime rap, nerdcore music, then either my Jamaican, then either my, like, Caribbean, hip-hop, rock, you, you, you know the truth. And that's saying something, because as a Caribbean boy, you expect me to listen to that, but hey, it is what it is. But, besides from that, People are going to want to listen to new different types of music because, let's be honest, there's a lot of rappers who sounds the same, who talks about the same stuff, or straight up doing this murder rap where they're literally self-snitching on their damn songs, which it sounds so stupid. You're going you're gonna to talk about what you did on your songs and... That's why most of y'all, that's why most of them be going to damn jail. Because y'all be snitching in y'all damn songs. <laughs> it is what it is with that. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of people are going to start listening to different music. And look what's happening. Most people are either listening to like Afro beats and such. Or in this case, rock music. Or hell, you never know. Most people are going to want to transition into this nerdcore scene. So hey. Don't say I don't tell you that when it comes down to it, not a lot of people are always just going to listen to straight hip-hop. Now, if you are, cool. I'm not hating on you. If that's your passion, if that's your type of listening, hey, I ain't hating because I listen to hip-hop too. But I, oh, but I, like I said before in, ne in my Neon Tide reaction, there are different musics out there that has the same type of passion and like lyricism and such that hip-hop has and rock music definitely in a way if it doesn't outpass hip-hop it matches it so hey take that was take that how's take that how you may all i'm saying is when it comes to rock music sometimes i feel like there's a just when it comes down to passion it's a little bit more over there because with the with hip-hop it talks to you about the culture and whatnot but if we're t but take away how it is for like culture wise and whatnot but if we're talking about passion you can't deny it rock music got hit to me when it comes to passion and such and charisma i'm just saying rock music has that over hip-hop anytime and if you hate me for saying that hey it is what it is Breakdown is about to be crazy. I know this breakdown is about to be crazy. What a 
I told you. The freaking break. I, I was literally saying it. If y'all couldn't hear me. That this breakdown was about to be something crazy. And I was right. If I was sinned. Here's the thing, y'all. By the time this, at the time of this reaction, I'm. This is like literally in the morning of Saturday while I'm doing this. Like around, you can say, well, just know that it's literally like early morning that I'm doing this. Not no 8 a.m., 9 a.m. I'm talking early, early in the morning. I'm doing this reaction. And boy, oh boy, do I just want to start screaming and punching the shit out of something because of the way how that breakdown was. Nigga, did you listen to this breakdown and tell me you don't... Ooh. Nigga, all I'm going to say is, I've said it, like I said earlier in this reaction, sometimes when it comes down to freaking passion or aggression or whatnot, Hey, hip hop can have its thing about talk, giving you game, giving you culture and whatnot. I ain't hating on that, but sometimes, in I've, and I've said this many times in other reaction, we all live, we all have different emotions in life, and this right here, with this breakdown, makes me want to punch something right now, <laughs> like. on my like workout playlist if I would nah nigga make me want to freaking want to punch some shit y'all y'all mean I, I'm telling y'all oh if it was in if one, I ain't trying to make my parents wake up, and two, I just want to break something, but I don't want to. <laughs> it's like I want to break something, but I don't want to spend money to be able to repay for that damn thing, so. Oh, but nah. This is what I'm saying, like when it comes to rock music, this give. I told I told y'all earlier at this reaction that it gives me like that early w, early like two thousands like WWE pay per view like songs and such, with where mother or nineties or so when it was called the WWF. <laughs> Cause nigga, them type of sounds was fire. I don't care what anybody say, but look y'all. Shout out to Jerris Johnson on the chorus and with his verse and then freaking boy what? This nigga boy what? God damn! And then that damn breakdown was something filthy. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. Let me go calm my ass down for other reactions. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>